Alright guys, what I want to talk about today, I've seen some people talk a lot about uh, they need a good pump for their bait tank. So today I'm going to show you a universal way that you can make one that you can filter it and your bait should last a while. Now, all I've got is a baby bubble box for my oxygen, but I have a bigger one because my pump right now, all, it, all it's in is a cooler. And the way I built this pump, you can change it out. You can use the same stuff. All you need is a longer pipe, and you can change it out with how deep your pump or your container is but right. this cooler right here let me show you I got a 500 gallon per hour pump and this is what I got going on all right I'm gonna turn it off now I'm gonna show you what this consists of Right now, I'm gonna show you how to make this pump. And all you gotta do, you need two two inch couplings, a small two inch pipe for like a small cooler, an end cap, and another little piece of pipe about this big. You'll need to drill a hole for a half inch thread and female fitting. But I'm gonna show you how to put this together. First, you'll need a coupling, two inch coupling, and the bottom part of this filter for this bilge pump is not going to fit in this two inch cup so what you need to do is take a piece of sandpaper and sand this all the way around and then you want to glue it in here the reason you want to glue it in here is because you can take a 500 pump put in it like this one or maybe you want to go with some more power and maybe you want to take 1100 gallon maybe you want to take a 55 gallon barrel you want to take a 1100 gallon pump all you got to do is get the same company and it bolts right down on there but getting on to making this pump and filter. Now, you'll have to measure first, but after you get this sanded down and glued down in here, you'll need that a little piece of that two inch pipe You'll need an aquarium filter from Walmart with the carbon. You gotta take it apart, roll it up, and essentially that charcoal in there, that eliminates all the ammonia and stuff in the water that essentially kills the fish. You wanna put that in that little piece of two inch tubing. Put the other coupling on. Set that over to the side. Now, this other piece of two inch pipe, you'll have to measure for these two pieces of pipe for how deep your container is. 
when you get this other end put together with the cap, two inch cap, the other piece of two inch pipe, and the male and female that goes in the hole right here that you have to drill, the half inch. You'll just put that together like this. And then drill you some holes for that half inch pipe. Now, I used a dishwasher. This is a rubber dishwasher gasket that goes on a hose. And it, it fluctuates in there, up and down. So if I go to put my hand in there, I won't essentially hit that and break the end of this off because sometimes that can happen. And all that should look like this. You can fit that wherever you want to at the bottom. I drilled some holes put some green barrel pad cut a piece off stuck in the end of it to filter out a little bit and that will filter your water and plus keep the pneumonia and stuff out of your water keep your fish from suffocating so they they get that gill ick and they they can't feel their oxygen is good but if you want to make another piece of pipe maybe you cut down a 55 gallon barrel and made you a bait tank for your boat and everybody knows shad you can't put shad in something that's got a corner or they'll kill herself so you need a round barrel to make you a bait tank you can essentially take this apart you just want to get the middle part out and then all you need is a longer pipe however deep that you're going to have your container put some more filtration material in it like this green scrubby pad from the Dollar Tree put your coupling on and then you're ready to go and like I said, if you ever want to trade out and have more power to build, just pop the top of the pump off. Maybe double, get you a thousand gallon per hour. And just pop on the top. I hope this hack has helped you. I know it's going to help me keep that alive. So, if you have any questions or anything, just put me a comment down below. And I hope... the filtration helps keep your bait alive. Well, this is Hack to Fish, and I'm out.